Donya Backus reporting. What stuck out there, Michelle, was three little kids traveling. We know how that <laughs> is. I have two. You have three. It is quite the hassle, so we don't want bad weather on top of it all. Not. You should have uh, Mother Nature at least cooperating yeah. with your travel plans. Beautiful scene behind us it here is. at Connecticut Point with a clear and sunny start this morning. It's chilly, even colder than it was yesterday morning at this time. Mm -hmm. And so another day of below average temperatures, but good travel conditions next several days across. New England today, all the way into and through Thanksgiving Day. We do have our eye on some potentially unsettled weather at the end of the week, but right now, grab your sunglasses and you know, dig out your hat and gloves. Temperatures are only 19 degrees in Smithfield, 18 Willimantic. We have places like Hope Valley and West Greenwich in the teens this morning, Providence at 22 and 25 in Newport, but feel like temperatures almost across the board are in the teens. That's the wind chill this morning. It is going to turn into another windy afternoon, especially given the temperatures, but at the moment the winds are running around five miles per hour and the skies are dry on live radar traveling up any of our inner states. You just have uh, lots of sunshine. We do have a few snow showers across central Canada and still some lake effect snow off of Lake Ontario. We have a couple of snow showers possible in northern New England today. Wanted to show you this big view of the nation with no major storms on the horizon next few days, including just some scattered showers across Texas and Louisiana. Florida going to be dodging some raindrops, but again, no major systems all the way into tomorrow afternoon. And let me fast forward into Wednesday. Still fairly quiet travel conditions, some scattered rain and snow showers dropping down across the northern plains. Now heading into Thursday, could see a storm system starting to take shape across the middle of the nation. And we'll show you that. But right now, we're looking at dry and sunny conditions for today. Temperatures upper 30s at noon, lower 40s for an afternoon high with southwest winds increasing and gusting at times over 25 miles per hour. So feel like temperatures don't really get much more than near the freezing mark for the wind chill this afternoon. Winds out of the southwest sustained at around 10 to 15 and again with some higher gusts. Gusty enough across the Cape and Islands. The National Weather Service issued a wind advisory for late today, 3 o'clock in the afternoon until 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning. Could get a few gusts that top 40 miles per hour in that area. Here's a look at those winds. This is 12 o'clock. Still gusting only 10 uh, to 20 miles per hour, but those higher wind gusts expected during the evening and the early part of the night before tapering after midnight. So tomorrow back to much lighter winds. So Thanksgiving Day, still looking at dry conditions across New England. We can see this rain starting to move into the East Coast. This is Friday morning. We start off Black Friday shopping dry, only to see that rain pushing in. So right now we're we're looking at scattered rain and the potential for some gusty winds too later Friday into potentially part of the day on Saturday. Here's the seven day forecast. Temperatures are trending up leading into Thanksgiving from the low 40s today to the upper 40s tomorrow with less wind and a beautiful day Wednesday, low 50s. Thanksgiving Day is looking good too, starting off with 30 degrees for a morning low. Temperatures in the mid and upper 40s in the afternoon hours. You can get that updated.